Good morning, grade 10. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well at the comforts of their home. For today, we will be having another synchronous session in our virtual classroom. So I hope everyone feels excited about this um, undertaking for today. Okay, so to start our lesson. So just a disclaimer. So um, borrowed materials here, such as the content and pictures, are owned by the respective copyright holders. Okay, so we will be using here those materials for educational purposes only. Okay, and so... Before we go on with the presentation of the lesson, we will be having a pretest. Okay, so I want everyone to go to the given link to access the pretest. So onto your browsers, kindly key in www.tinyurl.com/pretest-melk1. Okay, so we will be having this pretest before we go on through the lesson. Okay, and you are only given 90 seconds to answer. These are the questions given. So I'm not seeing everyone at your home. So I'm not seeing your browser or tabs. So kindly please observe honesty. Okay, so are you on your respective browsers already? Kindly give me a cue. Yes, yes, yes sir. 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 Okay, so yes, we will start now answering the pretest. So once again, you are given 90 seconds and timer starts now. Okay, so time is up. I won't be accepting any responses. So let's view some of uh, the scores that you obtained. Okay, so here is the summary um, of the points obtained. So I hope um, mapapataas natin yung points natin later, okay, as we go on through the discussion. Okay, so this time, let's have a game. Okay, so this game is called Four Picks, Guess the Word. Okay, so the directions for this game is that... Um, Four pictures will be presented here in the, in the screen, onto your screen rather, okay? And you are to guess um, the word or term which corresponds to those pictures, okay? So perhaps I'll be giving you five seconds to guess the word, okay, from those pictures, okay? And I'll be calling someone to answer or to guess our mystery word. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll start with the first picture. Picture number one. So I'll be calling someone, Jeff. What do you think is the mystery term? I think, sir, that is movement. Okay, let's see. The correct answer is very good. You got it right. That is movement. Second picture. Micah, what do you think is the mystery term? Sir, I guess that is boundary. Okay, so let's see. You got it right also. That is boundary. Very good. So next, pictures. Yes, Karen, what do you think is this? Sir, I think that is earthquake. Earthquake, let's see. Very good also. So that is earthquake. Next, pictures. What is this? Okay, so Jen, what's the mystery term? Sir, I think that is a um, plate, sir. Plates, let's see. You got it right as well. So those are plates, okay? So next picture, last picture. Yes, Jen? Sir, I think those are landforms, sir. Okay, a landform. Okay, so you got it right as well. Those are landforms. Very good. So let's have a summary of the terms that we obtained. So we obtained here movement. We obtained here earthquake. We have a boundary, we have plates, and we have landforms. So on your own words, how would you associate the terms with one another? Or how would you connect or relate these terms all together? How would you relate movement with earthquake? How would you relate these uh, terms with boundary, with plates, and with landforms as well? So let's ask Jeff. Jeff, would you like to answer or would you like to make an association of the terms? Um, sir, um, earthquake. Yes. Um, if I remember it correctly, 
uh, it's defined as the movement of the crust or the mm -hmm. earth below. Yes, correct. Okay, that's right. Okay, so along with the terms that we obtained, okay, so we can associate this to plate tectonics, okay, and that is part of the lesson that we will be having today, okay, in line with the competency such as describe the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts, diba? So these three are some of the geologic features of the Earth, diba? So meron tayong active volcanoes, meron tayong earthquake epicenters, as well as these mountain ranges or mountain belts. And along with these competencies, or competency rather, so the objectives of the lesson that we will be dealing today is one, we will be able to locate the earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and major mountain belts in the world map and describe their distribution. Okay? Second one, we will be able to relate the distribution to plate tectonic theory. Okay? Third one, to value the importance of readiness and preparedness in times of emergency. Because alam naman natin, di ba, that earthquake, di ba, that is a one disaster that might happen or that, that might affect our lives as well as the community. And fourth one is to prepare an emergency kit for the family. Okay, so I hope that um, we will be able to realize these learning objectives as we finish this discussion. So for now, I want to ask what's on your mind when you hear this term plate tectonics or plate tectonic theory. So with that, I want you to go to the given link uh, below such as www.menti.com. Okay, and I want you to key in this code Four nine zero one two seven zero. Okay, so do you see my screen, students? Yes, sir. That my idea of plate tectonics. Yes, okay, so one student already key in their responses. So, sabi niya, kapag daw merong plate tectonics, ito yung mga terms na napasok sa isip. So, keep the responses going. Faults, movement, continental drift, Pacific Ring of Fire, mountain ranges. Okay, volcanic eruption, active volcanoes, earthquake, cross, mountain ranges. Okay, keep the responses coming to our country, the Philippines. Because we know that our country, the Philippines, is rich with many landforms. And when talking about landforms, these are solid features of the Earth's crust. Diba? We know that crust is a major layer of the Earth. Okay, and these landforms may come in different formations such as mountains, volcanoes, islands, valleys, canyons, and caverns. Diba? So as you can see from the picture, here are some of the common examples of landforms which can be found in the Philippines. Okay? So we have here this Sierra Madre mountain range which is the longest mountain range in the Philippines. Okay? We have also this Mayon volcano in Albay. Diba? Such a great majestic view. Okay? And also, alam naman natin here in our location or in our community, we have here Mount Banahaw. Okay? So my question is that, what do you think is the role of these landforms in our environment or in the community? Yes, Maika, do you have an idea? Um, yes, sir. Aside po sa pagiging pasyala natin siya, it yes. also provides us our basic needs, food or shelter. It also protects us from different catastrophe like for example typhoon and other um environmental uh type. okay and in relation to those landforms okay we mentioned already a volcano and when we talk of volcano this is described as an opening in the ground where magma or molten rocks comes out and in association to volcano we know that there is this active volcanoes and inactive volcanoes. So may I ask someone to please differentiate these two terms such as active and inactive volcano? May I ask someone? Yes, Frances. Hello, sir. When we talk about active volcanoes, these are volcanoes with history of eruption or recorded eruption, while mm -hmm. inactive has no history at all. Okay, and in our country, the Philippines, we have about more than 200 volcanoes and 23 of them are active or are considered active or with pre-recorded histories of eruption. We have also geologic features such as earthquake. Okay, and when talking about earthquake, these are vibration of the earth due to the rapid release of energy and those energy 
or energies rather pertain to seismic waves. Okay? In relation to the discussion of earthquake, lagi nating nababanggit dyan or na-associate lagi natin dyan ang focus at ang epicenter. Ano nga pinagkaiba ng dalawa? The difference between epicenter and focus. Jeff, please, would you like to answer? Um, sir, uh, focus is the point uh, below the surface of the mm -hmm. earth where the earthquake starts. Mm -hmm. So there's the um, rock or the movement of rock while the epicenter is the land, the land or the point in the land above or directly above that focus. Very good. Okay, very good answer. Okay. Okay? So, aside from uh, volcanoes and earthquake that we mentioned a while ago, meron pa tayong uh, another geologic feature that comes in this form called as the mountain belts or mountain ranges. Okay? And when talking about this, these are grouped up geographically related mountains. Okay? Or chains of mountains which are close together and usually separated from mountain ranges, from other mountain ranges rather, by passes and rivers. And of course, in the map of the world, we note some of the major mountain belts, such as, as you can see from the picture, we have here the, Ande, the Andes Mountain Range, um, the Great Dividing Mountain Range. We have also here the longest mountain range in the world, the Himalayas Mountain Ranges. We have also here the Atlas, the Appalachians, and etc. and many more. So two days ago, I have given you an activity, okay? So that is, um, um, that is placed already in the, uh, the Google Classroom for your asynchronous session, okay? And so assignments are, were given already as tasks, and now I'll be asking students to present their work regarding uh, the activity. Okay, okay lang ba yun, students? Are you ready to present your outputs? Yes, sir. Yes, po, sir. Yes, po. May I ask Frances, please, to share your screen and share your work? Hello, po. Irinig niyo po ako? Yes, Frances. Okay. Activity 1, location of active volcanoes. For question, how are volcanoes streets? Distributed, where are they located? My answer is that the map above shows the location of Ford's active volcano. The chain of volcanoes that encircle the Pacific Ocean is situated and confined to the boundaries. The long chain of volcanoes surround the Pacific Ocean make up the famous ring of fire. Po. Ito po yung red dot na nakikita po natin sa, sa map po natin. And then for question number two, Based on the map, mention locations, areas that is unlikely to experience volcanic eruption. Sir, I would uh, say ito pong part na to, ito pong east coast ng United States, ito pong okay. Australia, some part of Asia po. Okay, and then nice. for number three po, are volcanoes only found on land? If not, what do you think are these underwater volcanoes at the seafloor po? No, it can be found also underwater po. Meron po ako ditong map represented mm -hmm. by red line po. Okay? The map showing the red lines depict the location of underwater volcanoes called oceanic reaches. Similar with volcanoes on land, they are concentrated along the narrow zone po, represented by red lines po. Yes, Maika. Ako po. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, classmates. So, here in our activity to entitled Location of Earthquake Epicenter. So, by looking at the Illustration here, I was able to answer the following question. So for the first question, how are earthquakes distributed on the map? Where are they located? So I assume, sir, that the black dots here represents the location of the epicenter. Yes, and sir, sir. I could say that the earthquakes are distributed in specific areas and not randomly. Mm -hmm. For Very question good. number two, why is it important to identify areas which are prone to earthquakes? Of course, it is important so that necessary precautions will be taken to prevent loss of life and other casualties. Okay, so we could also prepare ourselves as well. Yes, yes. And right. for number three, how will you compare the location of the earthquake epicenter and the location of the active volcano? So I have here two illustrations, sir, in our activity. So location of the earthquake epicenter and location of active volcano. And by looking at the illustration, I could say that the uh, location of the earthquake is similar to the location of the active volcanoes. And they are actually located in the Pacific Ring of Fire. 
Okay, very good, Maika. Thank you very much. So for activity number three, may I ask someone, oh uh, yes, Jen, to please share your work? Good morning, Paul. Let me share you my screen first, Paul. Okay. Okay. Okay, so in this activity, it is entitled Location of Mountain Belts. So we have here the map of um, active volcanoes and the map of earthquake epicenters and mountain ranges. So mm -hmm. let us start with the first question. How are mountain ranges distributed and where they, are they located? So longest mountain ranges, as we can see here, are confined in the narrow zones or boundaries of the plates. So those are the red lines or dots. And then for number two, referring to the given figure below, how will you compare the location of earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and mountain ranges based on the marked areas? So as we can see, the location of earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and mountain ranges are found on the boundaries of the plates. So lastly, okay. what do you think is the basis of scientists in dividing lithosphere into several plates? So I think the basis of scientists in dividing Earth's lithosphere into several plates is into the location of geologic features such as earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and mountain ranges on which they are located along the boundaries where deformations caused by plate tectonics happen. That's okay. all, sir. Uh, the location of these three geologic features such as earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and mountain ranges. They are situated uh, in, with, in similar places. Okay? At yun nga daw, yung naging basis ng mga scientists natin para uh, ma-divide daw natin yung ating, uh, la, uh, ma-divide natin yung ating plates. Okay? So, um, their locations serves as the boundary of those plates. Very good, Jen. So, again, let me share my screen. So thank you very much to those who share their output. Okay, so for others, uh, I have already downloaded your work. So let me check those uh, later. Okay. Okay. So as mentioned by one of your classmates, okay, so the places on Earth where most of the earthquakes originated or some mountains and volcanoes were formed mark the boundaries of each lithospheric plate. Okay, and of course, when talking about those lithospheric plates, we can then have here the plate tectonic theory. Okay, it says that the entire lithosphere of the Earth is broken into numerous segments called as plates. Okay, so as plates slowly and constantly move relative to each other, geologic events occur along with these boundaries. Yun nga yung mga volcanic eruption, formation of mountain ranges, at saka yung occurrences ng earthquake natin. Let's have a post-test as an evaluation. Okay? So I want everyone to go to the given link to access the next activity. So for those who are using their mobile phones, you can join through joinmyquiz.com. And for those who are using their laptop, you can access to quizzes.com. And please use the given code 480051. So now, meron na tayong four participants. We have Mik Mik, we have Jeff, we have Athena Jen, we have Frances, and we have Maika. Okay, so let's start. So let's see these questions of which most of you got it wrong. Okay, so question number five, two students got um, our incorrect response. So let's see the fifth question so that we can have a review. So earthquakes and volcanoes are concentrated along the margins of, of course, the answer here is Jeff, what's, Jeffrey, what's your answer here? Question number five. Answer uh, that I answered tectonic plate. Okay, so this time 
let's have some sort of application. Okay? So we know that now that disaster preparedness is integrated in our curriculum. With you as students, how would you demonstrate disaster preparedness? Yes, Jeffrey, would you like to answer? Um, sir, um, I think um, as I have mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. a kit or an emergency like package or yeah, kit that contains necessities would be very important in times of a disaster. So I think that's one of the things that um, every family or household must prepare. So, as an extension activity, so once again, I want you to access to this link, menti.com, and you enter again the given code 4901270. So, after having this lesson, so what have you learned, what have you felt, and what have you realized? Okay, so one response, I learned that earthquakes help scientists locate plate boundaries. Nice, very good answer. So for our agreement, so this is your assignment for the next session, okay, to be presented also. So I want you to help your family prepare for an impending emergency by preparing an emergency kit, okay? And you decide, of course, through the help of your family members, what items should be in the kit, okay? I want you to take a photo and upload it on the class Google Drive in the given link. So that is tinyurl.com slash family kit. Okay? Okay? So, of course, here are the relevant references used in our lesson. Okay? So, with that, this concludes our synchronous session for this lesson, Distribution of Geologic Features.